Hi, this is Shelley Letwin from GB Design Canada, and we're here to give you another video on Matrix 8. And one of the latest features is this F6 that I really like. F6 isn't new to the program, it was actually came out with Matrix 6, but F6 is sort of the short menu here, um, speeds, you, speeds up your modeling versus trying to come over here and find the icon over in the, in the um, interface. So let's just go ahead and um, delete this string. When F6 um, comes out, when you tap F6 on the keyboard, this the menu will pop up. And to make it stay, it'll pop up like this. But to make it stay, you're going to click on this little uh, key here, and it's going to pin down. So I can choose a ring rail and press Enter. I can go over to Gem Loader, grab a gem. I do have to come over here and pick whatever shape I want and whatever size I want. So I do have to come over here once in a while. Um, I'm going to use uh, Gumball with Rhino 5. Thank you very much, Rhino. This is an awesome tool. I know I've talked about it before in other videos, but I can raise the stone up to the height that I want. We'll select the stone. And now I'll go and make a setting for it. So let's go to Head Builder. And with these arrows, I can angle it to whatever angle I want. We can pull it in up at the top here. I can go to Level 3, click on the lower rail, and click on our little Taco Bell there and change the shape. And we'll just give it a little bit more thickness. We'll click on the other upper rail here and I'm going to grab this one that's slightly angled. We'll press enter. I'm going to select the head and let's just go cut to rail here. So now we've trimmed the bottom of that head. Let's select the inside ring rail. Let's go to an uh, outside ring rail. And again if we click on the little taco bell you can pick whatever shapes you want. You can make your own. That'll be another video one day. You can raise this up. You can narrow the thickness in between the fingers and the bottom width. We'll press enter. Select the inside ring rail. Now I want a profile between two rails. And so now it's going to bring out my little profile here. And I can adjust the width. It, rings are really thin these days. So we'll go two millimeters. Uh, I'll add another one and swing it up. Maybe not all the way to the top. We'll just zoom in here. We'll mirror. Okay. And I'll just pull that in just a little bit more. If I want to just widen the profiles up at the top just a smidge, I'm going to hold down shift so I can get that one tenth increment. We'll press enter. We'll select those two. Uh, sweep to history. Closed equals no. We'll select these profiles. We'll press enter. There's our shank. I purposely didn't butt them up there because now I can take that yellow curve and we'll do a profile cap. And I've got a little arrow here that I can just nudge that over to touch the head. We'll press enter. I can select the other one. Profile cap. This time I'm going to flip it so it'll remember the other width that I've got there. Okay, let's get some gems on here. So we'll select the outside curve. We'll go with gem on curve. I just made something. Just a, tried this just a minute ago, so I'm just going to adjust my numbers back there. So the width of my stones are 2 millimeter. The shank is 2.5, so we'll leave that. I can grab the bottom here. You know what? Yeah, okay. We'll leave that width there. You can actually taper the stones if you feel that you need to make them just a little bit narrower down at the bottom. Once you're happy with the look, I think I'm just going to pull these down a bit. So now I've got five stones. The first one's two millimeters, and the bottom one is 1.7. It's giving me a total weight there as well. Let's sink them down into the surface, and I'm actually going to grab the Z, I guess I should speak American, the Z offset and pull it down. We'll select the gemstones, 
we'll come over here to micro prong cutter. So if I want to, I can raise these cutters up a bit. Let's turn Boolean on. Let's click on surface. There we go. So we've got the cuts in between the diamonds there. So we'll press enter. We'll select the stones again. We'll go back to micro prong cutter. This time I'm changing my mode to standard. And if I click on the taco bell, I'll choose this U shape here. Let's turn Boolean on. Let's click on surface so we can see our cuts, which look pretty good. We'll press enter. We'll select the stone. Come over here to channel builder. And Boolean on, surface, click on surface. And there you go. Now again, these handles are here that you can decide on, you know, how wide you want to make this. You know, it's all about keeping the setter happy. Um, nobody else. Okay, so if I want this on the other side, we can run through it again. But over here and F6, if I go over to the surface modeling, you can actually add your tools over here, which I did. I added a plane. And let's go over to the side viewport. And if I just draw a plane, so let's go back to perspective. And I'll select the ring. Now I can come to split. You get split by you. Press enter. Mr. Kent West always has that little sing song when he's teaching. He's uh, had a tech support at Jamvision. He's awesome. Uh, I'm going to select you and you. I didn't join that yet. So, okay, I have to come over here. We'll go mirror F4, hold down shift. But you can see here, oops, forgot the stones. Um, mirror F4, hold down shift. You can see here, I pretty much built the whole ring. You only had to come over here a couple of times. Uh, the other thing in F6 is that you can go ahead and assign your colors for rendering. So we'll right click on green and we'll right click on purple. Come over here to platinum and we can hit the go button. And then I can select the center stone. Let's go over here to gems. And I think I had a sapphire. Sapphire blue. And we'll hit go. Um, you can adjust in the V-Ray section under render. You can adjust your um, colors. But this is just a quick way of assigning colors here because I just want to show you one more thing. If I can find diamond, there we go. And we'll hit go. Okay. So I've assigned those colors without having to go over to the, the, the V-Ray section of Matrix. But in here, if I click the arrow down, if I go to our presentation shade, there you go. So some people like working in this, um, uh, with this kind of shade mode. I, my favorite is still shaded. It's one of Rhino's first ones and I'm going to stick with it. So there you go. Um, we are GV Design Canada. We run classes on Matrix. Digital Goldsmith, Counter Sketch, and I hope you continue to watch us on YouTube.